Hi guys, this is Pradeep. So today we will take the topic Dunning. Dunning is related to accounts receivable. The word Dunning is derived from the German word Dun, means sending the reminder. So in our business, we have multiple business partners are there and uh, we are going to send the reminding notice or the reminder notice to our business partner to pay the payment. It basically it is payment reminder. Okay, so when any customers uh, uh, payment not received or let's say due items are there, so that time we call that we are going to send the dunning note. Uh, we are we are going to send the reminder notice. It is there in every business process and in SAP when uh, we are going to send the notice that is known as your dunning. Uh, basically. When in a normal case, how we are sending the running notice? Oh, I mean, uh, let's let's take a normal application. Let's say where uh, you are using any applications, any accounting application. So in that case, we don't have any option to send a notice from the application itself. So we will check our customer uh, due items, whatever the amount not received or the payment not received from the customer. So in that case, we will. That means you are going to compile your collection data with your invoice, whatever invoice was there and whatever the payments we have received let's say what are the line items received or not received that we are going to do a compilation or we will do a check then after that you are going to send a normal mail from any your company mailbox so this is the normal process when you just imagine we have thousands of customers are there we have uh, so many millions of uh, transactions we are doing so multiple line items are there, multiple invoices are there, some invoice are received, some invoice uh, payment received, some invoice payment not received. So in that case, we are supposed to manually send the reminder, then it will be very difficult. So with this Dunning procedure, automatically system is going to send the Dunning notice. Uh, user is just going to run a program, which is obviously a periodic activity. And uh, periodically, user is going to run the program and automatically send as per our configuration, system is going to send the reminder notice and that configuration is done. Sometimes uh, in interview, we may get questions like uh, uh, what is running procedure, how to configure the running procedure or certain components in this one. So this one, I don't think it is a difficult one, but it's a bit lengthy because so many settings are there. So uh, let's go into the system and uh, we will start the configuration. Now here first uh, we have to understand certain terms, all the mechanisms. So we have uh, something called Dunning keys. Then we have Dunning block regions, Dunning forms, Dunning procedure, then company code control settings and the Dunning areas. So these are the configuration we are going to do here in the Dunning related configuration. Okay, so let's go into the system and there we will see what is Dunning area or how to access it. To access this Dunning area, you can use the transaction code OB61 or for uh, through navigation, you can go to IMG, then go to financial accounting, then go to accounts receivable, payable, then go to business transaction and here you can see the option Dunning option is there. Right. So here you can configure all the settings related to Dunning and under the basic settings for Dunning, you will find the first option is Dunning area. So uh, what is Dunning area and why uh, we need it? So Dunning area are used if several organization units are there for sending your reminders within one company code. That means in one company code when with different criteria we are going to send the dunning notice or uh, uh, reminder to our customers so in that case you can create uh, or uh, that uh, different dunning areas and this dunning areas uh, at what level we can define so like i can say uh, profit center wise we can segregate distribution channel wise we can segregate Sales organization wise, we can segregate. Business area wise, I can segregate. So, North Zone customer, South Zone customer, in this way also, uh, we can segregate. Or, profit center wise, also, we can segregate. So, definitely, we should have. And also, you may create uh, separate dunning areas for our domestic customers as well as our foreign customers. So, we will have a better control on this area. So, let's check this one. So, if we'll go to the dunning area settings here some system delivered dunning notice uh, dunning areas are there and i also created one dunning area so the last one if you'll find this one is my dunning area this one okay so this one is it's a free entry just 
click on new entry and whatever you want to take you can take that or let's say if I want to create a new one so in that case also I can create let's say okay so for company code so you need to specify your company code so let's say I'm going to take one company code this uh, entire configuration I'm going to do take this in this company code 006 running area anything you can take let me take this one as 01 and this will be our running area or any settings any description you want to give you can give it save it so it is configuration so that's why tr generated done now coming to next settings running block region so this one you can access through the ub18 now here uh, different options are there let's say uh, when user is going to run the program user is not going to select for a particular customer user is going to select let's say we have thousands of customers are there and uh, uh, we are going to send the reminder notice to all customers but let's say one customer that uh, customer gave a call and we uh, we received a call from customer customer is saying that that customer is going to make the payment on friday so in that case it's not logical if you are going to send a running notice to that particular customer when already we have a confirmation that payment will be received on friday so uh, but how we will segregate that particular customer we have 1000 customers are there so many line items are there so for that purpose this particular uh, this running notice which is there this running notice let's say the last one okay this one so this running notice i will update in our business partner so for that particular let's say business partner number is 10 now for that business partner number 10 if any overdue items are there then we have system is not going to send any dunning notice for that particular business partner or for that particular customer it is there in s4 and it is there also in ecc although i am showing this one in s4 but same concept is there in the ecc there is no change so in ECC we will find in customer master you are going to update this key and uh, this one I am going to update in the business partner. Concept is same only different will be in the master record. So as it is created at client level so this, this need to be updated in the master record. So in this way we are going to block a particular invoice or particular customer or business partner that system is not going to send any reminder for that particular customer. So this one is going to help. So this you can configure through transaction code OB18 and uh, this uh, these are all system delivered but the last one I created this Z this one I created and rest everything like uh, uh, if, if you have any requirement you can create so right that next one is very important and the major configuration which is there that is your Dunning procedure so what is Dunning procedure so Dunning procedure combination of multiple settings multiple parameters and each field is important that I am going to explain so let's go to the Dunning procedure and directly if you want to access uh, Dunning procedure configuration so one option you can navigate like this otherwise you can use the transaction code FBNP and directly will be there in the Dunning procedure so if I will enter here FBMP okay so I am in the Dunning procedure and you can create your uh, any Dunning procedure whatever you want so we will follow the note so the next one is Dunning procedure and define Dunning procedure so Dunning procedure is going to help us to maintain multiple control parameters so that as per that control system is going to send the Dunning notice to the customer here no accounting nothing is there it's just a reminder it's also known as your correspondence so click on new procedure Take something as your Dunning procedure and you can create multiple Dunning procedure for a particular company code with different different criteria. So I'm going to create a Dunning procedure let's say Z006, give some name to that particular Dunning procedure and let's say this uh, Dunning procedure is uh, that means uh, how many labels or how many times we can send the Dunning notice to the customer. So that is known as your Dunning labels. So maximum you can send nine dunning notice to the customer or nine levels you can configure here so maximum nine levels we can configure so i am going to take one example where we are going to take uh, three so three dunning labels i am going to take and every week we are going to send the dunning notice so first notice will be 
first notice sent when system is going to send the first notice that again depends on our configuration we will see second notice will be sent after one week third notice will be after one week so I am going to take this option as three levels three levels every week every week we are going to send so it is just description I have given here then define here dunning interval in days dunning interval days means what will be the gap let's say you are going to send the dunning notice in two weeks so that means the gap will be 14 days so the one notice first notice and second notice or the first reminder and second reminder the gap will be 14 days in my case it will be seven because I am going to take here one week in every week I am going to send so this dunning interval in days will be seven number of dunning levels so as I said I am going to take here three levels so this will be three next field total due items from dunning level so total due items from dun dunning level to understand this one we have to understand how system is going to uh, calculate here the dunning due items so here like we want to make a total like how many levels we have in our case we have three levels so if you are going to take here total due items from dunning level that means in during this level uh, uh, sorry uh, in dunning level from which all due items are to be total and print and what is due item i am going to explain in the next step okay so let me repeat total due items from the dunning level means dunning level from which all due items are to be total and print so as I have three levels so I'm going to take here three so that means in third level all due items will be clubbed together so that's why I maintain then uh, the next one will be minimum days in arrear and line item grace period so the next one is not mandatory A lot of countries this is not there almost you will find both requirements are same or the settings are same but we have to understand what is this settings so let me give you one example here grace period means let's say one item is due as per the payment terms whatever we have updated let's say it is due on 25th july so that means if by 25th july the payment not received then we suppose to send the dunning notice on 26th july as per the normal process but here we are going to give some grace period some grace let's say we are going to give two days grace period so when system is going to run the dunning notice or system is going to run the dunning program so that time that particular line that particular invoice for that particular invoice system is not going to send the dunning notice till 27 july as per this uh, two days grace period so we are going to send first notice second notice and third notice as per my example so are we going to give this grace period two days grace period in every notice no for notice will uh, grace period will be given only in the first notice second third there will be no grace period so if you are going to maintain here line items grace period as two so that means system is going to consider the days whatever you are going to enter here means two days I entered here so in your due date so that means system is going to add here two days so on 27th July or after 27th July if we are going to execute the Dunning program so that particular invoice will be included in that but in that Dunning uh, execution if you are going to run on 26 then that invoice will not be considered or it will not include in your dunning program so that is the meaning of this uh, grace period so i'm going to maintain the grace period as two now here how system is going to maintain or how system is going to calculate this uh, dues in, uh, intervals okay for example let's take one table here and uh, this table is uh, due intervals okay so this is due interval and we are going to give grace period so this is our grace period then days in area days in area and we are going to send uh, we are going to maintain three level 
first level second level and third level okay so due interval in days so as i said i am going to take here one week so that means seven days gap will be there between your first notice and second notice and third notice so seven days gap will be there so due interval i have taken here seven days then grace period let's take first example there will be no grace period so i am going to take this one as zero so that means immediately system is going to send the running notice once it is overdue on due item reminder will not send on overdue item reminder will be sent so 25th is as per the previous example 25th july is due 26th july is overdue so on 26th july if you are not going to give any grace period so on 26th july execution the running notice will be or reminder will be sent to the system from the system automatically so days in area will be immediately so i can take this one as zero then uh, we are going to take the next one so the next one will be after seven days that means from this point seven days so uh, sorry uh, uh, days in area so that means we are going to send the reminder immediately so this will be zero that means there is no days in area is zero so immediately we are going to send the notice second notice after seven days this one is zero second notice after seven days third notice after 14 days if there will be no grace period second example if you are going to take the grace period and let's say uh, grace period we are going to take two which i have maintained here let's say grace period here i am going to maintain two so in that case days in area will be two so system is going to wait for two days to send the dunning notice let's say we are every day we are going to or user is going to run the dunning program so 25th due 26th overdue but no notice 27th that is also overdue but no notice on 28th execution system is going to send the running notice so that's why days in area here it will be two so on which date the system is going to send the notice so after two days so in this example 25th due 26th first grace period 27th second grace period so on 28 reminder a uh, 28 on 28th july when user is going to execute the dunning notice or dunning run that time system is going to send the reminder so this will be two then next one will be nine so seven days gap so two plus nine so that means from your due date due date was 25th july from 25th july after nine days second notice will be sent then the next one will be your 16 seven days gap so this is how system is going to calculate this uh, due uh, area in uh, sorry this uh, due items or this uh, total due items from the dunning that means how system is going to calculate here days in area so days in area will be calculated like this so i hope you got this uh, example this one so i'm going to take here the line item grace period as now interest if you are going to charge any interest on the reminder then interest indicator you may add so i'm not going to add this one so let's ignore it then next one if you have added indicator and you can ignore it let's ignore it interest calculation so that is a separate area one day I, uh, that uh, separately i will prepare one video then add the public calendar so that means to calculate the due date and all so we are going to take the holidays so system is like ignore those holidays so every country wise holidays we have so that we can add here so i will just search here country added then what are the items we are going to consider standard items that means all your normal items we are going to consider here standard transactions special jail transactions i already prepared the video on this i hope you have checked not if not you can check that i will add in the description special jail transactions means let's say customer advance so on customer advance if uh, reminder need to be sent so that also we can add or you may create two different running procedure one for standard items and one for special jail transactions that is also find some companies they are also using that way then running even for the credit account balance so credit account balance means like for example uh, normally we have uh, customers debit balance then in which situation credit balance will be there so that will be in case of vendors okay so let's say already we paid uh, more amount to the vendor and that we need to recover because of some 
credit memo or let's say purchase return so due to some reason vendors normally we have a uh, payable but let's say vendors also we have a receivable that means they need to return so in that case also we are going to include that one so dunning even for the credit account balance that maybe you can include so don't think that dunning is always only for customers sometimes maybe we can also include vendor so that's why when the master data selection we are going to do vendor also will be included right so that you can include here then uh, the next field is reference dunning procedure for the text so if you are going to if you are going to enter here the dunning procedure then like for example if i will click here you will find some options are there so some existing dunning procedures are if you are going to add any reference you can enter so with reference to another dunning procedure we are going to you can do that if we will leave it blank then system is going to add our existing dunning procedure what we are creating that means g006 so during printing point of view enter so i have not entered anything now automatically you can see g006 reflecting here done okay so basically in this particular screen we have maintained the important fields are dunning interval in days that is 7 days one week gap number of dunning levels maximum 9 but i maintained here 3 then total due items to dunning level that is 3 i have taken i have added a grace period too and i already explained how system is going to calculate here days in area including the grace period and without grace period but in our case grace period is there now coming to next one that is your dunning levels so as i said dunning levels uh, we have three dunning levels i have maintained so this dunning level is going to determine that the dunning text need to be printed in the dunning notice for example to a particular customer first reminder we are sending so that would be a friendly note that your item is overdue please make the payment earliest possible second one maybe you are going to send little bit you will be tough in that case you will your language is going to be different third dunning notice maybe we are going to send a legal notice on that so that's why as per the dunning level text will be different so system is going to as per your setting system is going to take one text set whatever we are going to maintain and accordingly the mail will be sent or mail will be triggered to the customer so go to the dunning label dunning in area so now you can see here uh, automatically this two is there so how we got this two it is because of the grace period so zero plus two so i maintained the grace period in the previous screen so that's why automatically it is two there this one supposed to be second one should be 9 then this one should be 16 just now i explained through a calculation so that should come this should automatically come in my system maybe some issue is there so that's why it is not coming but otherwise it will automatically come so the second one will be this will be 9 so second notice will be 9 days from the due date and the third notice will be 16 days from this date so if you are not going to give any grace period then this will be your zero then if you are going to calculate any interest then uh, that you can include here if you are going to calculate any uh, interest okay so i'm not going to calculate any interest so i'm going to skip that then select always done by selecting this indicator system is going to print the running notice even if you have not made any changes to the dunning proposal since the last turn that means if there is no change the last dunning notice and in this dunning notice there is no change there is no addition in invoice nothing but still we want to send the dunning notice then you can include this option okay so this one i'm going to uh, activate this always done option that means every time we are going to send the notice so i will just take the second and third first one i have not checked so for second and third i have selected then you can select here print all item again if you are going to select print all item option if you are going to check this one then uh, system is going to take all your open items. system is going to print all open items with the same turning label so that also i am going to activate here print all items for all levels or if you want you can only activate this option for the second and third level then deadline sometimes some customers they used to maintain deadlines if i will maintain here a deadline of let's say five days so that means 
whenever we are going to send the reminder or whenever system is going to send a notice that within five days payment should be received so in that case you can maintain here the payment deadline as five that may be you can maintain here so receive notice within five days the payment should be uh, received from the customer okay so that you can maintain but i will not maintain that one i just selected always done for two options and print all items so that we are going to send the running notice even if there will be no change then payment uh, deadline i skipped here then legal procedure so if you are going to select here always done in the legal procedure that means we are going to send the legal notice to the customer so from the lawyer you can get a legal notice copy and that we can send to the customer for the non payment so i am not going to activate that option or uh, no, no legal notice we are just going to send different different running notice with different criteria now coming to charges select the currency so along with the running notice we are also going to charges that means if your invoice is let's say overdue now this charges is like every item wise or reminder wise so for a particular customer let's say three invoices are there and total is let's say 15000 so individual wise we are going to charges or total so always it will be total so total reminder let's say total invoice three invoices are there and all are overdue total amount is 15000 15000 and the charges not the individual wise so one two three three levels i have maintained here then maintain here some amount so you may take percentage or you may take the charges will be any fixed amount or you can take a percentage also so i am taking here a charge uh, the amount that means we will send the first dunning notice if for a particular customer the overdue item is 3000 then we are going to send it if let's say 2000 that means we are not going to send any reminder notice so and for that i am going to maintain a charge here that is 100 rupees so i know 100 will be along so that means 3000 plus 100 or if let's say total invoice is 4500 now here different items are there okay so total invoice is 2000 one invoice another invoice is let's say same 2200 and uh, another one is 1000 now all these invoices are overdue so what is the total amount so the total amount is 5200 now don't think that as i have maintained here 3000 we are not going to send any dunning notice to this customer because it is less than 3000 no to send a first notice to send a reminder first reminder the amount should be 3000 and combinedly it is more than 3000 so we are going to send the dunning notice we are going to send first notice we are going to sec send second notice depends on the amount what i am going to maintain here and if it will be first notice then i am going to add here or system is going to add a charge of 100 rupees so what is the total amount payable by customer or receivable is 5300 this is our invoice amount and this is our charge so total 5000 is receivable from customer so this is how we can maintain the charges also this one i am going to maintain let's say 5000 charges 200 this one is 8000 to send a third notice that it should be 8000 okay let's say customer first notice not sent because that time it was 3000 and after that some more invoices are there and overdue then directly we are going to send the uh, second notice because as per the dunning level okay so then dunning charges so this charges i will take let's say 250 so in different levels i have maintained different charges then go to this is the charges then go to minimum amount so same figure i am going to maintain the minimum amount 358 1 2 3 so minimum amount 3000 to send a running notice to 3000 to the customer the, previously i explained the same concept is applicable here then it is 5000 and 8000 same amount i have updated here then go to dunning text select the company code 
Okay, so I was talking about both customer and vendor, both we can include. So I selected here customer. Save it. Then go to text. Okay, now I got it. Select and save. Now go to text. It was not saved earlier. Okay, so here you can maintain your running area. So initially we have maintained running area. So different area wise, different language will be there. High value, low value customers and uh, sales organization wise, south zone customer, north zone customer in different way. So you can maintain whatever the areas we have selected or we have configured that you can maintain here Dunning. then uh, you can maintain here the labels so we have first label then select form type so it can be uh, this form that what attachment will be there in the mail that should be designed by the abapper so in that case we can maintain sap script or it can be a smart form or it can be pdf based so that will be designed by the abapper okay content will be maintained by system but that format everything should be designed by the wrapper so i'm going to take here sap script anything can be selected as per the configuration by the wrapper then select here the object name now i don't have any these settings which is purely technical so i'm going to take here some standard forms just randomly i'm going to take one option here i've selected then the next one same area i have created only one area label 2 now let's make it 2 okay a different notice will go and save That's it. So this is all about your running procedure. So if we quickly recap what are there in the running procedure. So in running procedure, we have maintained different uh, field informations with different different combinations. So here we have maintained the labels. We have maintained the grace period so that the due item will be calculated by the system. Then we have maintained the charges. So different running level wise, different charges will be there. Minimum uh, amount also we fix that to send the reminder notice, or first notice, second notice. Okay, for example, let's say any customer is not uh, eligible for second notice. That means after uh, first notice uh, it's completed, then immediately we will start the proceeding to recover that amount. For example, if one customer is uh, 3000, now second for second point of view, 5000 due is there. Now let's say customer due item is 3500. So that means that customer is not coming under the second level, second notice. So immediately after first notice, if payment not received then we will start the collection process we will do what just we will not stop here sending a reminder then after one week we will send a second reminder it's not as the customer is not eligible for a second reminder so immediately the collection or the recovery process will be initiated so that's why this minimum amount is fixed here so that system will not just send the reminder rather we will activate here the dispute management or whatever the process should be there that we are going to activate. So this dunning procedure is created at client level. So that is why this need to be updated. So this is our dunning procedure. I created just now Z006 three levels every week and this one I need to update in my business partner. So whatever your business partners. So this information should be updated here. So I will go to the business partner. It is related to receivable means finance so in company code segment it will be updated so that means in the role F FLVN uh, sorry FLCU 00 segment we are going to update this uh, 
डनिंग प्रोसीजर अंडर द करेस्पॉन्डेंस इट इज नथिंग रिलेटेड टू सेल्स कस्टमर ओके सो आई विल गो टू द कंपनी कोड सेगमेंट So the running procedure we have created is zero zero six, but as it is created at client level, so we have to update this one in the master record or in business partner. So go to business partner, select your customer. So I have one this customer is there or business partner is there, and as it is related to receivable means it is related to collection. So we have to go to the company code segment. So right now I am in the company code segment. Add your company code. Okay, so it is I need to activate this one edit mode. Then here go to the correspondence tab so here you need to add your dunning procedure okay so this one i created and update so that, that initially i was explaining one dunning block options that i configured one z so if you want to add this one now if we will add it now let's say assume that we have 50 customers are there now all 49 customers we are going to send the running notice if overdue items are there but this business partner or the customer will not be included because here it is not free for so customer promise that payment will be uh, received on this particular date through the phone so that's why here you can add the dunning block so that this customer invoices will be ignored but i will not maintain this one and once the dunning informations will be updated once it will be executed you will find the informations like the uh, dunning notice and the last which label it is updated like first notice and second notice that all this information will be updated here so once i will run it you will get this information here okay so like this all this master records need to be updated done now let me check if any open invoices are there for this particular business partner so couple of invoices are there and i am going to run the dunning program for this particular although i have only one business partner just imagine multiple invoices are there for multiple business partners and automatically system is going to send the dunning notice so you can uh, to execute this dunning run you can use the transaction code f150 or you can go to accounting financial accounting then accounts receivable then its periodic activity so go to periodic processing and this one f150 then run date select date so i will maintain today's date 17th july you can maintain it similar like app the screen and all you can see it is related to our automatic payment program so that is also periodic activity like this this one is also periodic activities so select something here let's say i will take g61 then maintain the parameter here running date today's date up to which date we are going to consider the documents so that you can maintain here you can also run for multiple company codes so add your company codes and you can select your multiple customers or business partners so i have uh, one more customer is there so let me include that also let me take that to by me cancel it
So I have one more customer. Let me update there. And uh, customer number six. Right. So here it's not there. So let me update it. So I will add the same running procedure for this customer. Now I don't know whether invoice due items are there or what due items are there for this customer or not. But let me add everything. So I will just go to F150 again. Maintain the parameter. Company code. And update here your customers. Customers number six, customer number eight, or you can take the range also. Done, then save it. Parameters maintained, then you can schedule. So, output device means printer. If any local printer you are going to give, or let's say any uh, you want to print out the real machine you are going to, so you can enter local. Otherwise, I'm just doing the testing purpose, so I can use LP01, SAP system printer. So you can give any time, you can schedule it, I want immediately, start immediately and execute. So I can see here, one running notice generated, so one running notice executed for this, our customer 8 and uh, 3 items are there and three items are also overdue so these are the overdue items 41107 and same included in our dunning notice right so it is there so now we will print it go to dunning printout use sap standard printer give any date time or start immediately print so due to some uh, technical reason, uh, multiple times this uh, printout is terminated and uh, when if we will check the exception list, so there are no error. So it's definitely a system issue uh, uh, and if we will check the print log, you can see uh, this uh, due to some background job something is issue is there. It's a pure technical issue. Okay, and in log also I tried multiple times but it's not working. So it's everything is done. Just let me show you the output with a different uh, execution. Uh, once you will execute it and if it is perfectly there, although it is perfectly there, you can see running notice sent and also we have seen that running notice. But problem is uh, because of some reason, uh, this uh, error is there particularly from the print point of view. Uh, let me take a different one where it is completed. So here you can see it's a different uh, run for a different company code and you can see it's running, uh, running run completed. And for that, if I want to see the Dunning notice, right, so how I can check that? If I will check the Dunning notice, I want to see those Dunning notice. In different way, we can check it. It's executed, so we can go to the system and uh, batch job created. So if I will see the jobs, so there I can see here it's cancelled multiple times. Let me take the job which is created uh, related to Dunning. So I think this one so this one let me check the output right so you can see the first running letter is there and the language and all we have not set anything as we have picked the standard uh, letter from the sap delivered so this will be there okay so whatever the out like your unpaid invoices are there and particularly the overdue invoices whatever is there so those details plus the charges the dunning charges as per the dunning label though that also included and this is the letter or uh, this letter will send to the customer or the business partner uh, automatically no one is going to send this letter manually in the mail once mail setup will be there automatically from the system uh, customer or business partner will get the particular mail okay so this is not that difficult topic but uh, yeah in interview sometime you may get questions on this one so uh, this will help you so try this one and any issue let me know thank you